salmon's middle often isn't it the middle. the middle is the right you know, to always eat on the right side but not on the left side just leave that give her a dinner plate and she'd only eat the vegetables and leave the meat which is disappointing because I was the cook. So if you start a picture, it can not fit in the paper if it gets over to the left because it hasn't left enough room. Spatial neglect is a syndrome, that is signs and symptoms that patients most frequently have after stroke but sometimes in forms of Alzheimer's disease uh, where they ignore one side of space. So people, objects and sounds on one side tend to get ignored and the patients who have it tend to be drawn to the other side and this can extend to things like the food on the plate in front of them that will only eat food on this side and then say they're finished it may extend to parts of their own body so when trying to shave they may only shave this side of the face and miss out this side put makeup on so you can only see from across there yeah from there to there that's my vision. So what's going on in the other half? Nothing. There's nothing at all? Because often I've come up from this side to give you something. Anybody can I? creep up my left, I wouldn't know they were there. doesn't see anything. I can't sense them. So if you just look at me and just point at the finger that moves, OK? Or say both if both. Tell me which finger moves. First one. Yeah. That one. Okay. Yeah. Look at me. That one. Okay. Look at me. That one. <laughs> that one. That one. That one. That one. Great. That's fine. They tend not to describe the condition, to be honest. Uh, one of the most intriguing things about it is that this sort of loss of attention for one side of space doesn't leave a great gaping hole. And that's why it's, it's very useful to contrast it when someone's got what's called a hemianopia, uh, which is a primary sensory deficit. They can't see that side of things, and they know they can't see it, so they're constantly moving their heads like that. Whereas patients with neglect are unaware of their deficit, that they're not even aware that they're missing something, because their sort of imagination of space has gone on that side too. Do you have a name? I don't, I haven't thought of one. I can stand right next to you, can't I? You can't sense no, I'm there. No, you can't. If, if you told her to look, she'd actually look around that way, like that, right round on the right hand side and then come back to central. She wouldn't actually think about coming uh, and looking around to the left as well. People often say, why don't you just tell them to look to the left? And relatives can be very frustrated about this too. Uh, and I think you've got to be aware that the process of attention and these higher visual areas are involved in the representation of space rather than just seeing things where they are. See the lines there? Split that's, them in the middle. Yeah, that's one end, that's the other end. Show me where the middle is. Mark the middle for me. I was only looking at a line from there to there. Mm. It's in the middle of my line, not the middle of your line. For the first time I saw you. That's where you were marking the centre of the line as well. Patients realise something's wrong when things are pointed out to them over and over and over again. So in a way, I think for them it's slightly abstract that they know that there's some problem on the left-hand side and they're not aware of that problem, but they know everybody's telling them they have to do something more on the left. And so they use strategies and things like that to try and overcome the problem without really being to appreciate it in its being able to appreciate it in its fullness. I remember getting you know, those word search books, and I remember it was only one side was always ever filled in. <laughs> yeah, and then slowly she got better and better at it because I used to say to her, Colby, you know, you're not. <laughs> I'm not getting value for money. You only do half the page. <laughs> Yeah, so slowly she learned that, yeah, start, le you know, do the left side first and then come back to the right. Some people have it soon after their stroke, and it gets better within a few weeks. And then another group of people have it long term 
and learn strategies to overcome it. So if you probe deeply, they still have problems with attention, uh, even that bias may go away, but they still have deep problems when trying to find things, and then they also tend not to remember where things are after they've looked at them. They have poor working memory for space as well. So a lot of these deficits don't recover, although people can use strategies to overcome them. Give that a plea if they find you. <laughs> it's good. 